I'm Ms. Tashina, and welcome to St. Joseph's Church Children's Liturgy of the Word. We've got a back to basics activity for ourselves today, but to get started, we always want to remember our House of God rules. So our House of God rules are, number one, be prepared. Make sure you gather all your needed materials before starting your craft. Number two, be attentive. Make sure you are open and ready to study the Word of God. Number three, have fun. Make sure to have a good attitude and be excited to learn more about our faith. And as always, number four, we smile because Jesus loves us. So our Bible story today doesn't come from the gospel. It comes from the first reading. And the first reading today comes from the first book of the Bible. Do you know what that is? The first book of the Bible is called Genesis. Usually when people say something about Genesis, it means the beginning. So it's the name of the first book of the Bible, but we're hearing a story that comes from the beginning of our faith. And we're starting with the two people that started it all, the two people that we all originated from, the people that God made. Do you know who they were? They were Adam and Eve. And before Adam made the first people, God made all of other creation. He made the stars and the sky and the sun and the moon. He made the birds and all the beasts of the wild and all the insects and all the fish that swim. And suddenly he realized he needed somebody to be commander of all of those things. And so God made Adam. He made Adam in his own image and made him a man. And so Adam came to be. And so God was like, well, it's not good for the man to be by himself, so we gotta find a suitable partner for, for Adam. So God brought all of the birds and the fish and all the things he had created, all of the wild animals, and Adam named them. Okay, okay, well, we call that a, a we call that a parakeet, and we'll call that a toucan, and oh, maybe that's a lion, okay, and that's a bear. So he gave names to all the beasts of the wild and all the fish in the sea and all of the birds of the air, but none of them quite were suitable partners for him. It's like, yeah, these are all great, but none of them are really just right for me. So God said, I have an idea. And what he did was he cast Adam into a really, really deep sleep. And what he did was while Adam was sleeping, he took one of his ribs and closed it up in flesh and developed what was to be called woman. And so when Adam woke up, he brought the woman to him and Adam was immediately excited. He said, yes. This is the one. This is the partner. This is the one who will be my partner. And she was made from the flesh of my flesh. So because we call her woman, woman, because she came from the man. And her name was Eve. And God gave Adam and Eve dominion over all that he had created. And he gave them a beautiful, lush garden to live in. The garden was called the Garden of Eden. And Adam and, Liv, Adam and Eve lived in the Garden of Eden, and they had all of creation around them, and they lived in the garden not quite happily ever after. Some events happened, and we'll save that for another day. But our story today just tells us how Adam and Eve came to be, that God put them together as man and wife, husband and wife, and that's where the basis of the institution of marriage that we have today starts from. From a woman and a man together, husband and wife. And that's why when we put the husband and the wife together, they're no longer looked at as two separate people. God put them together, and now they're looked at as one person because the woman came from the man, and the man is part of the woman, so they come together and the two are one. 
So today, just to remind us of Adam and Eve, we're going to make some little puppets to remind us of the love that God showed in creating the first people. So we have Adam and we have Eve. We have Adam and Eve. And we can use them as puppets to have a little dialogue. So it helps that we have two hands. So Adam and Eve can have a conversation. I love you, Adam. I love you, Eve. And God put them together, man and wife. So this is what we'll be making today. Just to remind us of the first people that God created. And if we all could look far back enough, we all descended from Adam and Eve. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we need everything from our kit, which is our two paper bags. We have two sheets that's gonna make Eve. So it's her head and torso, then her legs. And then there's three parts to Adam, his head, his torso, and then his legs. So Adam has three pieces, Eve has two pieces, and then you need your two bags. And from home, you'll need a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and some colored pencils and markers. Okay, so how this works is that it's always better for us to color in before we cut out. So our first act will be to color in Adam and Eve. You can color them however you want. Back in the Garden of Eden, they're known to wear fig leaves. So fig leaves are big frondy leaves that are green. So if you want to color their suits green, on my original, I did put Eve in like green, like fig leaves. Or you can color them however you like. But you want to color Adam's head, his torso, and his legs. And then you'll cut all three out. So you'll color in all three, and then you'll cut all three. Okay? And then same for Eve. She's on two sheets. So you'll, you'll color her, her head and torso on the one page and color her legs and feet on the other page. And then you'll cut it out. You'll cut it out. So you'll have Adam's, just his head. Then you'll have the part of his mouth and his torso. And then you'll have his legs. Then with Eve, it's on two, two pages, but it's still gonna make three pieces. You'll cut out her, her, her head. You'll cut out her torso as a separate piece. And then your third piece will be her legs from the other sheet. So remember what we're doing first, we're coloring both Adam and Eve, and then you'll cut out the three pieces for each one. So we can start doing that. We'll start doing that. Just a few more seconds. I'll be finished with Adam's legs and we'll put it all together. So it's gonna to come together really quick. It takes, it takes longer to color and cut out than it is for us to put it all together. But that's usually how it goes anyway. All right, so here we go. So I wonder, I wonder what color you made their clothes. We got Eve in pretty dark green. And Adam looks like he's got on a burlap sack. 
So there's my three pieces of Adam. One, two, three. One, two, three. And three pieces of Eve. One, two, three. So we have our two bags. So one will be the Adam bag, one will be the Eve bag. So you want to make sure that your flap is down on this part because this is how you'll make your puppet. So what you'll do is you're going to take and glue Adam's head here. And then his torso and mouth, well, this is so that he can make his mouth move. So you, you glue the torso where his mouth, line it up right here. And then you line up his legs right here. All right? And then you can just glue him in place. So we'll start with his, with his head. And we'll just glue... Adam's head in place. And there's his head. And then we have his mouth and his torso. So we'll just run some glue on our glue stick. And remember, it's purple, but it's going to dry clear. So if you get it on, um, on something it's okay it's not going to stay purple it's going to dry clear and you want to put it right under the flap so it looks like his mouth is opening you want to line it up Whoop, line it up and there it is so that when you move your puppet it's like the mouth is the mouth is opening and then you want to just put some glue and glue the torso. You don't have to glue the legs all the way down because they almost, they'll hang off the, um, the bag just a little. So you don't have to go all the way down, just at least to the middle. All right. And then you'll just line up. You wanna cover that seam where we cut. And now we have Adam all complete. You know, and that, that, that's where his hand will go to make the puppet. So we have our three pieces of evil. We got to put her in order. <laughs> got to put her in order. And we'll do, this, we'll do the same thing. So we'll put her head on the flap of our bag. Make sure we do it there. Put her head on. And then we do her mouth and torso, which will go right under here. Right under here. Glue on the back. And then Eve's legs. And same thing, we don't have to go all the way down with the glue. And we'll put on her skirt and legs, the rest of her dress. And there we have Adam and Eve, our puppets, our reminder of the first people that God created. He created Adam and Eve in his own image. So when you look in the mirror, you're looking at the face of God. He created each of us in his image. And the very first people he created are Adam and Eve in the beautiful Garden of Eden, living together as man and wife. 
So I hope you enjoyed making Adam and Eve as your reminder that of the first two people, but we, they weren't the last two people, all of us came from them. And just like them, we are created in God's image. I hope you enjoyed today and hope you enjoy making our craft about the very first people that God created, Adam and Eve, and learning how he created them in his own image, just like we are. The very first people God made as husband and wife to live together, man and wife, happily ever after. We never like to close without saying our closing prayer. Are you ready? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Repeat after me. We thank you, Lord, for this day, for time to work, to learn, and play. We ask you, Lord, forgive our sin, and we'll try not to sin again. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We send love back to you above. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye. We'll see you next time. Thank you. For additional resources, please see your packet for activities for Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden.